Taurus with all the books and I am here with my Booktubeathon TBR. I'm pretty excited about this. I think it's a great list of challenges and this is my last hurrah before I have to go back to work. Um, school starts here in my county in Tennessee on August 1st <laughs> um, and I'm kind of ready. I mean who's ever ready to like leave vacation but um, I'm kind of in that zone where I'm getting a little lax and ready to be back on a routine and schedule. So it's all good, but I have to go to a work meeting tomorrow and then I have teacher work days starting next Wednesday. So yeah. So next week, Booktubeathon starts on Monday. This is my first Booktubeathon ever because I just joined Booktube the end of December last year. So, yeah, I think it's going to be great fun, and I'm going to have Monday and Tuesday and Saturday and Sunday off, so I'll have four days off of the seven, so yeah, hoping, hoping I can get all seven challenges met. So, number one, read a book with a person on the cover. So, I went with the literal photography people cover. Um, Allie Smith, How to Be Both. I have just seen Allie Smith, Allie Smith, Allie Smith all over BookTube since I've gotten on here. So I think I snagged this one from Book Outlet several months back early on in my BookTube career. And I'm ready to dive into some Allie Smith. Um, number two, read a hyped book. Well, the Trouble with Goats and Sheep by Joanna Cannon. Um, I have seen so many booktubers whose book loves coincide with mine gushing over this book. So, pretty excited to jump into it. I think it's going to be a great summer read. Yes. Number three, finish a book in one day. So, did I really pick the right one for this? Oh no. I'm, not, I'm questioning my, oh no, this would be okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, uh, my pick is Silas Marner by George Eliot. Um, this is my mother's favorite book. She apparently had to read it in high school and read it so thoroughly and so many times over and over again that she was accused of cheating on the final exam. So, I don't know why I've never read it, um, but I'm going to read it, and I'm hesitant, like, why did I pick it for the read it in one day challenge? Um, because classics don't tend to be fast reads in general, but maybe this one will be. Um, Middle March was fairly readable, but it is just right at 200 pages, so that won't be too, too bad. Fingers crossed. I'll have to, like, really pace myself with that one. Um, the next one is read about a character that is very different from you. So, for this one, I grabbed Negroland by Margot Jefferson. This is another one that I got off Book Outlet and have seen it pop up on BookTube a few times. Um, and I mean, there's the obvious racial differential with this one, but even more so for me, um, I grew up right on the poverty line in rural North Florida, which is very Southern, very Southern, and if you couldn't tell by my speech patterns. Um, but Margot, I believe, grew up the wealthy black elite in Chicago. So I think there will be a big difference in our upbringing. So I'm very interested to read that. Um, finish a book completely outdoors. Now, I've heard a lot of booktube trauma about this particular challenge, um, but hey, Florida girl can take the heat. This is not a problem for me. Uh, I grabbed A Sting in the Tail by Dave Goulson. I 
just got this one book out. I sound like a book outlet advertisement today. I just got this one and I'm so tickled. I love bees. I love them. They make me so happy. So, um, again, I'll have to pace myself because I think this one is right at a couple hundred. Yeah, two, two, two thirty nine, two forty ish. Um, so yeah, I'll just read a few pages a day and get it done in the course of the week. And then number six, read a book that you bought because of the cover. I saw Ange share this one and I don't even know what, be first sight, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have that book. It just really struck me. This is a um, short story collection, apparently, um, slipped out of North Korea and she rated it well when she finished it so I think it's gonna be a good one and I'm excited to finally dip into it and then number seven read seventh books so my seventh book is a buddy read with Catherine from cover to cover and we're going to read a man called Ove by Frederick Buckman and I think this one will pair really well with um, Silas Marner. Um, they're apparently crabby old men that end up interacting with um, energetic chirpy children. So anyway, those are my books. I think it's a fabulous stack to get through and I'm excited to take summer out with a bang. So anyway, let me know if you're joining in link your TBRs below. I'd love to see them and I'll be chatting with you a lot in the next few days because I'm thinking to do 24 and 48 this weekend as well. So fun times ahead. I'll chat with you soon. Bye. It's a hummingbird moth. Gosh, that is so cool. my own garden. I can't stand it. That's so cool. Isn't he fabulous? <laughs>